Well, in the midst of global economic challenges and uncertainties, startup companies in Indonesia are undergo undergoing a mass wave of layoffs. Indonesian e-commerce giants Gojek Tokopedia recently announced they will be laying off 1,300 employees, while other startups like edutech company Ruanguru also announced they will be laying off hundreds of their employees. The global economic condition remains frail and uncertain, with significant economic slowdowns occurring in the U.S., Europe, China, and many other countries around the world, while both the World Bank and the IMF are projecting an imminent widespread global recession. Amid all these challenges and uncertainties, startups in Indonesia are feeling the blow, many of them announcing mass layoffs. On Friday, Indonesian ride-hailing and e-commerce giants Gojek Tokopedia announced that they will be laying off 1,300 of their employees, which is roughly 12% of the company's total workforce. The mass layoffs will apply to Gojek Tokopedia or GoTo employees in Indonesia, Singapore, Vietnam and Thailand. During the announcement, CEO of GoTo Group Andre Sulistio cited increasingly challenging macroeconomic conditions saying that the layoffs were a difficult decision to make, but it could not be avoided to ensure the company can continue to maintain its growth. On the same day of Gojek Tokopedia's announcement, Indonesian edutech giants Ruanguru also announced that they will be laying off hundreds of their employees. Announced on an Instagram post, Ruanguru founder and CEO Belva Shah Devara said that this was a difficult decision but had to be made amid a worsening global economic condition riddled with high inflation that has significantly worsened the investment climate impacting tech startups. Meanwhile, on the 14th of November, e-commerce giants Shopee announced that they will be conducting yet another wave of layoffs. This would mark the third round of layoffs that Shopee will have conducted in just this year alone. In the past six months, Shopee's parent company, C, have laid off 7,000 employees, which is around 7% of its global workforce. According to Indonesian economist and the director of the Celios think tank, Bima Yudhistira, said that the Indonesian government can no longer ignore this condition and must immediately release a package of policies in the face of waves of layoffs affecting many key sectors. Among the recommended moves including reducing value-added tax, which is currently at 11%, to help maintain consumer purchasing power, also up to 60% in discounts for peak electricity usage for the labor-intensive sector, especially for textile industries, while also extending loan restructuring for companies that are forced to conduct mass layoffs. Indeed, startups rely heavily on investor funds, with many still yet to reach profitability. And as many countries around the world are still experiencing high inflation and mounting uncertainty, the ability for investors to fund startups could remain difficult in the foreseeable future.